with your cute ass. Hey, I might buy you a new bag. And we're still here kicking it with the Spencer Charles, a.k.a. Spencer Green. And I'm going to keep saying the because you deserve the the in front of your name. Sure. So don't be looking at me like that. Right. <laughs> I mean, I hope y'all enjoyed, you know, the short film. It was, I liked it when I viewed it. I really yes. liked Tweet it. us your thoughts about it. Tweet us, please, at urban underscore overdose. Urban underscore overdose. Thank you, Jaya. <laughs> we're keeping you on the show because now we're going to dig deep into the latest hip hop trends and popular topics. And so we're keeping you here for your opinion. And the first topic of the day is UOD. So UOD'd. So this is when we pull people out who really just did the most. Like, you did the most. My personal, you know, UOD is Molly Omalia. I think I'm saying her name right. It's a young blonde. Doesn't She's matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's a young blonde. She's 14, um, and she accused Tyga of trying to slide in her DMs and holler at her and held a whole press conference um, so she could call Tyga out, break up him and Kylie. I don't know what the purpose was. Defame but him, to essentially. De to defame him, and I guess to try to R. Kelly him. I don't know, so... <laughs> I don't I don't know. She's 14. She got pictures on the gram. She look, you know, 25. Where is like, her mama at? I, I don't know. I don't know. Her mom wasn't with her. She had her lawyer standing by her side at the press conference. So with you being so heavily involved in Instagram, you know, women using Instagram to build their fame, build their status. Mm -hmm. How you feel? How y'all feel about Tiger again? You know, blackmailed, basically. How you create a whole press conference? <laughs> I'm confused. I'm confused, really. Somebody wanted to de defame him. Who's against Tiger? Are you, what, what's your thoughts, Spencer? Are you against Tiger? I'm, I mean, I'm not, <laughs> I'm <laughs> not a. hold a press conference? I did not <laughs> hold a press conference. I'm not a fan of Tiger's, but I also don't agree with um, defaming anyone <clears throat> like that. Um, I think it's so, she's 14. I don't think right. I, I don't think this is her. You know what I'm saying? I don't think a 14 year old I don't, I don't, a 14 year old don't know what a press conference does. No, they do now. They do conference. now. I mean, but how to like, up, but how to go about That's why I like, said it's her mom. Her mom is pipping her yeah, out. Yeah, there, there, there's her. something let me, else let me not in say there. That. Let me this, not say that. I mean, Probably granted, true. I don't think. I mean, for whatever reason, he was in her. He said it was for. I He's guess to. DM. To. Um, she was a, she, basically. Yeah, he was trying to get her because she sings or whatever. Right, and they kind of took it for. Whatever. I mean, it I don't know. Matter. I don't know the situation <laughs> well, because I wasn't there. I'm not. I heard, that is that is how Justin Bieber was found on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that makes sense. And I think it was kind of easy to target him because of his the relationship Kylie with, with Kylie. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it was like, a, oh, Ooh, Tiger's a, they a love pedophile. To shoot us down. So, <laughs> so let's. But I mean, well, I don't know. It's just an unfortunate situation, and I, I personally, I don't follow it because I, it's just messy. I it's just know. trash. Yeah. It's a lot um, of mess out there. But I heard, sorry to um, spill some more tea. I heard it, it, either it was the shade room or baller alert, but apparently she got caught texting another rapper and lying about her age. Yeah, like on some like 18. being fast, flirty kind of sh shit, pretty much. I just think she's I'm to so, me. So Tiger was doing his job. He's trying to make money. He's trying to rejuvenate his career. He's trying to pick up new artists. He did try to FaceTime her. Maybe he wanted to hear her sing live. Uh, <laughs> But <laughs> you want to hear it seem like, that's not and they, said, they said Kylie was sad They've been arguing You know Man, I like Kylie. Kylie You don't like Kylie Bro whatever Yo I like Kylie I, I know she I wants to be see Kylie. Kylie with no makeup on Then I love her or She hate. has some pictures With no makeup on have you seen the ones where she looks like an old cigarette mom? Yeah, I seen that. Thank you. I seen that. Thank you. But they didn't apply it right that day. No, it's all that work <laughs> she's gotten done to her face. They didn't apply it right. Well, I want to just tell Malia O'Malia, whatever you got, like you know, a lot Mali of followers. Malia O'Malia. <laughs> you od with a whole press conference trying to tear Tiger down. I mean, his career is not you know as evolved as, as it could be. But you still OD, you know. We had a whole like, she was crying. I don't know. She's she's my OD. You OD. I I don't like her. And maybe we should just report her Instagram account. No. But she was crying. <laughs> we can leave that little girl alone. But she, she was, was getting shut down. Was in her DM. She was like, it was real dramatic. She was in there crying, wiping her tears away. Like you know, I just want other girls to not be targeted like this. You know, I'm too young to be talking to an older dude. She got it. Never mind. Go ahead. Go on. No, say it. It's just I don't know. That's just 
She got it. Never mind. When somebody she, sliding your DM, Spencer, and they twelve. Just don't respond. Right, yeah. Because I'm, I'm sure I'm there's going to be a girl. It's like, I want him to shoot my picture. I pictures. want him to shoot my picture. She can be her mom probably around or something. Or maybe her mama's like, oh, baby, get him to shoot your picture. Exactly. Oh, yeah, no, I'm shooting 20. 20 yeah. You have to be at least 12. Get like 20, 20. You ain't checking no ID. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Ooh. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I meant like the no, camera. I, I know as far right. as like shooting, I'm not playing. No. Twenty nah. twenty year old to take this flick. Yeah. Oh. Are you trying to rhyme with another word, Dre? <laughs> this, this is Dr. Seuss. No, Uncut. Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, Molly. Molly, U O D. Our next topic is called the hype. Our next segment is the hype, where we just you know pull the most popular topics of the day and put them on the table and we just start about it. So, to the hype. Okay, my first topic. Mm, Sierra. Sierra, my goodies. Okay, so Sierra sang the <laughs> national anthem. Okay. Right. What, what are you doing? All I said was one sentence. He, he's he's seeing the rest of goodies in his head right there. That's <laughs> no, what he's doing I, right now. Did Sierra do a good job? He playing on his piano. I, I haven't seen it, um, okay. oh. but I've heard Sierra sing live. <laughs> <laughs> Where was that? No, like you know, television shows. Oh, like, television performances. And I was like, no, you was at Skate Town. What's here? You used to be there singing and I, dancing. Where's she? Well, you from? You from Jersey? That's an Atlanta thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Sierra sung the national anthem live, Where? and a lot of people are um, for the the football championship, the college football championship. Why? And, I, exactly. And <laughs> she was in a whole ball gown, like a whole like white diamond flickering looking ball gown, like just. Flex the fuck out <laughs> Trying to sing the national anthem It was really crazy I think it, it was definitely a Well it would have been a positive move for her career If she would have delivered Right there we go that, that is the word I have been looking for That is it She did not deliver this. In my opinion Sierra did not deliver the song unfortunately But I think it goes with the whole image she's trying to create You know How did she get that gig Russell Wilson Right Russell Wilson got her the gig, probably. Most likely. Babe, I got you this. Go do it. Right. Kill it. And he made sure to tweet yeah, how well she did. Yeah, he tweeted. He was like, beautiful. Was. It's not that she didn't do bad. It's just that Sierra needs to actually get out there and either perform on Beyonce's level or higher for us to respect her at this point. I, I don't even and think Not to say that I don't no, respect I like her. her not to say that I don't respect her, but it's like I watched... I, I watched it and it didn't do anything for me. If she would have got up there and literally you killed think- it on some Whitney, which nobody will ever do that before or again, but like still, she didn't do anything to leave me like, all right, Sierra, one notch up for you right now. I don't. I don't think that. I mean, I'm. I like right Sierra. Now she just kind of irrelevant. She's, um, she just futures baby mama. Really? Mm-hmm. She is just future. She baby just mama futures baby mama. mama. Okay, I think that Sierra did not do one, a two, great job. Cool. But however, it's the national anthem. Okay. She did a great job with Party. That was everybody jam. Don't flex, okay? You stay in your lane. You stay in your arena. You push out songs like Party, yeah, Goodies, I, you know, and you make and they all hits. sound the same because in my mind, I'm like, which one is which? No, I think <laughs> I think she's a great she's a great dancer. And she is a great like, dancer. Like performer in that aspect of putting on a show. Um, but when it comes to, she just needs to stand and sing. And I'm not even saying she's a bad singer, but I don't think that's her strongest. If she was dancing, suit. then it would have been different. So y'all don't but think Sierra Mind can't dance? Anthem. Exactly. So um, if you can't dance, if you can't though, sing so the national can't. anthem and leave me moved, then you don't need to be singing the national anthem. So y'all don't think Sierra Mind y'all of Janet Jackson's career? Yeah. No, Janet, y'all don't think Janet so. Can't sing either. Janet can't sing. But you know what? Whatever she was doing. Worked for her Cause Sierra <laughs> Is not working for Sierra It's not She the got she got Russell She got Baby Future She got the whole Future drama That's cool Other than that I don't care to hear Her vocals in my ear I think the difference Is, is that Janet party. Had better music As far as She had better yeah. fact, She had better and producers more consistent Her camp music. was tight. Yeah she was more consistent Sierra upgraded Future Or Future upgraded Sierra I don't think they did Anything Honest, for each other Yes they did Future guy of her party Best song. Nah, I don't no. think they did anything for her. Oh, there was a whole Future drama about that. that. I didn't know about that drama. Can Future you, gave can her that song. The body, the body, body party. party. I think they collectively upgraded nah. each other. Right. They, they upgraded real. each other. Either way, Future's music would Future's music still would have been lit as fuck, regardless. Yeah, of course. It was. You're right. 
Right. Yeah. To be honest, to be honest, but what what what, what <laughs> would Sierra be doing if she wasn't on to the next celebrity? Because what she went from all the different celebrities and then she ended up. With she Future. made sure she got a track though from each male guy she dated. Bro, I in my mind she has double horns. I agree with Future. I'm on Future side. Oh my god. You so audience, um we have a you know She's crazy. She's she's crazy. Thinks How that you go from Sierra Bow Wow to devil Future horns. or for the fifty cent? She went to fifty cent. I mean She's just dating anybody she can. But she also had her own She dated right. whoever's popping. Back in the goodie yeah. days. Now she's on, yeah. <laughs> no, nah, I think I think Sierra had a great career. I mean, she has a good career. <laughs> I think she has um, a good before before career. and after Future, and I think Future had a good has had Is will have a, great career. a good yeah. career before Regardless. and after her. I think they, I think I don't think I don't think it's like they upgraded each other. I think they benefited each other to a certain extent, but it wasn't like it was no upgrade. It was kind of like I mean. Right. right, but and nobody. But like to a trap nigga, who cares they about that? They would have never talked about. But like it. before, like for a trap nigga, he don't care about being talked about on the view. But that crosses you over into but like, different like, audiences. A whole another now market. a whole different but money the, but stream. Not, but but that market not buying stream. dirty sprites. It don't matter. It they're don't not, the but they're they 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 no they're adapting to our culture yeah. for real. Like they got that from Cam Newton. Like they still they did, but they didn't. They did. Right. They were all, but not nah, Future already had that. Like as far as like 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 the Either white way, the he crowd, put the bug in their ear. It's not nah. He because he, I think his image his image might be commercial, but as far as like the sound, he still it's still very. It is very. He's urban. still very Future. His he's, sound his sound will not change. Yeah, he's still but very his, like Dungeon Fam. But oh, I can't wait very. to stick talk tonight and hello. <laughs> This is true. Uh, we, yeah. we have but the thing is, but like Sierra, Sierra's not even that that popping to get future too. Like the, I think, I think their their relationship together catapulted right. them both it to that because it, it, was it wasn't a combination. like because it, it wasn't like it wasn't like she was getting talked about on a morning show before before him. To where it's like, oh, it's like it's not, it's not it wasn't she like she had a, gotten but, talked about on the morning show before him. And not, she was, it's not. I mean, as far as like in that market. Right? How do you date? Okay, okay. We can come to we can come to a collective agreement within the we'll room. We'll have to speak on the show one day. We cuz we <laughs> we'll have to come to a collective agreement that they did benefit each other. I think we can agree that Sierra, I mean Sierra was getting buddy buddy with Kim K and Beyoncé while Future was still drinking dirty Sprite, you know, and rolling dice. So it was like, you know, <gasps> I'm going to introduce you to my friends and Future was like, I'm going to put you in the studio. You know, I think it was a great collab. I think that Sierra made a mistake when she tried to change Future and tried to make him be this person she wanted him to be. I didn't know she tried to change him. She all. was dressed up in a wedding gown and posed for a magazine, and they never got married. So obviously, she was oh, trying I didn't to know all that. she was trying to make him a husband. He did say that, uh, that, uh, that was her like, like she was. Yeah, he wasn't. Yeah. Right, and try to build. Mm. She was building their image, but. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Okay. Ace brings up a good point. She does, but you think about the guys that have been her boyfriend. Like, not trying to be funny. Bow Wow was popping at every. Every week. He's on TV. A lot of people on TV every week. <laughs> he didn't seem no Bow Wow. <laughs> He's nah. like no. He said, but Bow Wow, Bow Wow did make that money move. Mm. That's still a check. At the end of the day, it's a check. Bow Wow got more money than me. <laughs> right, exactly. I did. I'm proud of Bow Wow because I definitely yeah. wanted him to go the Nick Cannon route. That whole, you know, I rap, I Produce, act, yeah. and then go off into hosting shows, things like that. So I'm proud of Bow Wow in that. You know, respect. Bow's connection to Sierra, back to Sierra and Future. I think I want to know y'all's opinion about Future being so expressive on Twitter. Was that a Meek Mill Meek Mill move? I just like, think he's a hood nigga. I, I don't. He's I don't a think hood it's, nigga. Like, imagine your hood niggas that you used to talk to. They was they, they was hot headed. Like why that. are you talking to so many hood niggas? Sad. <laughs> 
Um, I don't think it's. I don't think it's. I don't They're think it's the cool. I mean, ones, bro, I I'm swear. all for like expressing yourself, and I I feel like if he feels some type of way about him not being able to see his son, express that. Um, like I mean, let people know that because he's been. I, I feel like for a long time he's trying to put up a front that he didn't care mm, about the whole yeah, situation, and, and now out. it's like it's coming out that he actually cares. I don't think it's okay to disrespect your, your uh, the mother of your children at all. At all. Um, however, I I completely understand. You um, feeling some type of way about your current situation, whether you're in the right or wrong, you have a right to feel some type of way. Period, because that's your seed. That's not your child. But is it right through Twitter? No, no, it's not. Well, I mean, but like, I mean, today, we're like, I mean, I, no, but like, in today's like culture, like, where, where else is the platform like to to do it? Is he gonna send like a Facebook post? Yeah. <laughs> Was he gonna set up a press conference like Molly O'Malley? Right. <laughs> you, know? you know what I'm saying? Like people just Excuse use me, like, but you know. she ain't let me see my child in so many ways. Everybody, a future press conference, please. Someone get on that. Oh my yeah. God, yes, we do need a future, we press, need a future press conference. Oh my God, he could be an emotional leader, you know. And then we we talked about the urban culture and how now it seems as though urban culture is commercial. I want to touch on the fact that Hillary Clinton is now dabbing on the <laughs> Ellen Show. Hillary is continuing <laughs> to really just irk my nerves. I was I was definitely pro Hillary. You know, I am a female. This is a female right, based exactly. show. Women in power, we salute, you know, no matter the color, no matter the race. But the fact that Hillary keeps attempting to please us and jig and jab and dance and, you know, tap dance for us, it's really and I say us, people of color, it's really annoying me. And when she hit the dab on the Ellen show, I don't. I didn't. I didn't receive it well. I didn't. I don't think people were very receptive. What are your opinions, Spencer? Um, I think it's 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 sad because she's she's panicking. Um, and she's such a. It's sad because she's such Why a strong she candidate. Running? She's such a. She's she's a, she's a very smart individual. I think she's more than capable of being president. But because um, because she like. She's been pushed into this corner where she, I don't know. She feels like she needs to, like, oh no, like they really don't want a woman president. I gotta be cool. I gotta be the cool president. I gotta, mm-hmm. I gotta be Obama now. I gotta be the cool. I gotta mm-hmm. be cool. I gotta or be Obama like, you know now. What I'm saying? That's, I need that was to, it. That was like, it. It's not, it's not enough for her to be this. A, it's not enough for her just to be an intelligent and capable individual, like a, a candidate. She has to because she's a woman or whatever, or just because of her last name. She has to. Connect the black culture, or she has yeah, to be. Yeah, Bill was connected to black culture. Right, or she has to be Obama the young candidate. The she has to be the, you know, what I'm saying the young cool candidate or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of, it's kind of sad. Like her camp is in the back, like, oh my god. So you're told millennials are supposed to like this, so do that, do that. Everything right. millennials, millennials, millennials. Yeah. Right. But at the same time, like, I don't think that it's authentic. Yeah, it has to be genuine. Like, Obama is genuinely cool. Shout out to Obama, who's probably still speaking at this moment, you know? He's genuinely <laughs> awesome. Is it still going on? The State yeah, of the Union? I think so. I think probably. so? Probably. They be, long. they be long. So, thank you for tuning in with us, you know? Y'all can watch that <laughs> on YouTube. So, I think, you know, it's not genuine. She's putting forth this effort. She has all these people in her corner. And then you think about the times when P. Diddy was going hard for Obama, vote or die. And so she's imagining all these movements of black people and think, this is what I have to do. But Hillary loved you from the jump. Like, when we heard you were running, like, it was a wrap. You really didn't have to do anything but talk about the issues and the opinions. So, I mean. I think she got really, she started panicking with when Bernie Sanders started gaining so much. Mm -hmm. Um, They were tied up. Yeah. And. I mean, and his his approach was very inter- interesting. Like you know, go completely left. I and mean, I love Bernie Sanders. I think he's a great candidate as well. I do too. Um, but his like no approach was like so go so like completely left. And that is like everyone who is like so like anti government like have no choice but to fuck with you because you're so anti government. But you know what I'm saying. And and I think she started like painting. I guess when his like strategy started working. That she just kind of oh I need something else I need something else I need to dab so is this, is this death to the dab Did the no, dab just the die? dab don't have to die just yet no don't let them listen they they kill don't everything don't let them else. take the they dab they killed the nene they killed oh everything. my god they killed the nene Whew. stop letting stop letting them kill and when we our say culture. they we do need do mean commercialized culture I'll say that you know once it goes mainstream 
But they killed the Nene. Meanwhile, I, hold on, sorry. No, I girl. just saw DJ Khaled in a picture with the CEO of Snapchat or the on the founder of Snapchat or something. That's <laughs> Khaled for you, right? So, do you see how big his marketing? We're gonna talk about. Was? I mean, yeah, like we're gonna talk about Khaled. We actually could talk about him, you know, right now <laughs> in the in the segment, the addict, you know, because we're urban overdose. So, you know? yes, exactly. What are you addicted to? And right now, people are addicted. To DJ Khaled, Khaled. Snapchat, yeah. Like, I'm personally not. I'm trying so hard to fight it. I want those. Like, I want to be so. Meanwhile, different. she just got a Snapchat last week when I told her to. Girl, make her. dang! <laughs> Is she already addicted? <laughs> I'll be snapping y'all. Snapchat tutorial I don't know what's the purpose of. What? <laughs> it's like your own personal reality show. We H. need Snapchat tutorials. I can figure it out. Ten okay? second segments to show off what you got going on that time. Drea's gonna give a live Snapchat tutorial. It'll be on our YouTube channel and she'll just go into depth about how to use Snapchat for people like our producer, H. Um, and people are addicted to Khaled. I know right now DJ Khaled has a thing going on where it's like the key to success is working out and DJ Khaled's on a treadmill. Who's not gonna watch that? <laughs> exactly. But when I see him on that treadmill or the elliptical talk, Every day, or at least Don't every say other you day. Get inspired. I I get inspired. I'm not. Spencer, gonna lie. you get inspired by DJ Khaled. Does I'm he not work for lie. you? Is he giving you the keys to success? Imagine you sitting around on your couch and then you see somebody working out who's huge. He's huge. He's sweating bullets. He's working out, talking about they don't want you to be great. You gonna be like, damn. Let me get on the elliptical real quick because this nigga is. <laughs> it, you know, it's very enter- entertaining, and that in itself is inspiring to me. Um, he's just, just in his like, own respect. In like, his own yeah, respect. it just brightens my day to see like hear Khaled talk because he be so serious. So, so serious. He's and so what I heard is that he's actually that, like that's really who he is in, in real life. Yeah, it kind of has to be. That's what that's what makes. I heard it, he's an extra like, ass so nigga. funny. Um, and like I, I don't know, I appreciate it. And yeah, I guess I guess it is inspiring. Is he comparable to the Lil John of like a new kind of culture? Like well, he Lil John Snapchat. was Lil John. extra. <laughs> Like yelling all the time, hype all the time. Khaled is extra all the time, but just not crunk. Like, mm, I don't think they're necessarily nah. comparison. I tried, right? I thought about it. Lil John <laughs> and DJ Khaled. Nah. Mm-hmm. And plus, Lil John actually did. Like, Lil John had, like. Khaled gets them together. He sends a track to Chris Brown. Then he sends it to Jeremiah. Then you got another. He got R&B. five you artists. Got five on artists on one song. <laughs> three of them. One person literally best. saying three words. Lil, Lil John <laughs> actually each. created a sound. He actually created a movement. He You're actually right. produced the music Does he get royalties and all actually that? DJed. And he's still like doing. Is it, there's a difference between, I love between Khaled and Lil John. T, I, what I, about, I love how you feel about T Pain? T Pain. Do you think T Pain created the sound, the auto tune sound, or no? Well, no. No, well, I, I mean he made it, it popular. Way but back. Like, nah, he I made it popular. Yeah, generation. he brought it back. In yeah, generation. I think he definitely made it popular. Um, I think T T Pain is talent, super talented person um i love i love t-pain mm. but yeah i do it's kind of thirsty um <laughs> key to success sharing <laughs> major key major key but no yeah no nah, i like i like t-pain i like little john i love yeah. little john love t-pain i'm personally addicted to um tiller I'm addicted. <laughs> you late? <laughs> I'm not late. I'm one of those who I found just Bryson wasn't. Tiller back when he had like five hundred thousand plays on SoundCloud. You always got that one friend who thinks she the first to know everything. I was. I was. Don't was my song for like the last year and a half. I swear. Okay, everybody loved Don't. It was on ninety four five. Ninety four five normally has you know airing the most, but I just wasn't connected <laughs> to him as I am now. Now I crave it. Now I wake up and like mm-hmm. I need to hear the whole album before I start my day. I oh, wasn't like that. You be in your feelings every day then, girl. I text. Shout out to it's Brit underscore Duh. I text her one more. I was like, girl, I just feel like crying and listening to Bryson Tiller. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's real. That's how I felt. It was a real text. I pull so it up. <sighs> I'm emotional Yeah you so like And like, expressive You gotta be real with yourself And sometimes you gotta cry right. Listen to Bryson Tiller okay. I like the whole new wave I think Drake started this wave Of men becoming emotional And expressing themselves Yeah and that's really cool And now r And then R&B got really sexualized With Chris Brown And things like Trey that songs, And Trey Songz Jeremiah Conner. Pretty Ricky I thought it Go back <laughs> And I miss like Kind of the connection To real R&B Where you talk about Your actual feelings And not how bad You wanna screw it You know you actually do want to love well, her. Well, if you listen her. really closely to Bryson Tiller's lyrics, he's like, I'm going to take you from your nigga, but I'm not your nigga. 
Only on some songs. Listen, it, no, yeah, it, I swear to God, <laughs> he's like, "Hey, come over like he, here," it's, but it's we all, don't go all, together. It's though. Awesome That's game. Exactly he's telling you what you want to hear, so that like. So, I just you, got sold a dream. Yeah, you fell. Oh yeah, he's Oh my God, trap soul is nothing but a dream. It's nothing but a dream. Yeah, you fell. Listen to exchange. He said, "I give you me in exchange for you." What nigga ever did that? I keep falling for dreams, y'all. Yeah, you do. <laughs> That's why I said you dream. have a license. That's why we go into the next segment. Exchange is a complete dream. Go listen, imagine a man listen, that actually did that. Go listen to Ty Can Dollar you imagine signs. it? Thank you. Thank you. Go, go, go listen to Ty Dollar Signs. Listen to no, you listen to Miracles. I love Miracle Free TV. I get okay. Back to we're gonna go to the next segment. It's called the fix. And that's where we fix misogynistic misogynistic issues in our culture and society and we just dirt on it and honestly we just talked about my issue I get sold dreams and I can't tell if it's a dream or reality <laughs> how do you not get sold a dream like when is a dude when when are dudes telling the truth and where are they lying is, does he really want to be we with you or not about I don't think I don't think that's specific to men I think when are people telling like I, I feel like it's, Here we go. It kind of goes both ways. Not really, not just in relationships. Uh, and but all in the situations. females in the room said, <laughs> "Okay, no." It's so because it's so easy to look at things just from your point of view, mm-hmm. but it's like it, you really sit back and look at it. We're we're all doing the same thing, men. I don't women, sell dreams. Yeah, you do. <laughs> and it's and it's not to say that Ooh. it's not to say that you're worse than us or we're I worse admit than I you. I would have sold a dream or two or three. It's, and it's <laughs> a, and it's okay. The first step is admitting it. It's all right. Oh my god! Um, <laughs> okay, you're not you're men not going to think so. Men are more reluctant to sell dreams than women are. That's I don't think doubt. that's. A, I mean, that I mean, is true. I think all people are going to sell dreams. I think all people will lie. I think all people are going to lie in certain situations. And it's not to say like what lie is bigger than what. I think you have to. I think the problem is when you get into the the mindset of that. Why do men do this? And it's like, why? As a person, why is this going? Like, what, what is going on? Like, you know, what, like, what do I need to do in this situation? What does this person need to do in this situation? Because when you keep putting it against, blame, like, yeah, yeah like, because when, when you keep putting that blame first, it's like it's you're never going to have a healthy relationship because that's not what love is and that's not what relationships are about. It's about who's at fault. You know what I'm saying? The, we, so can you help me decipher the dream? Nah, nah. the dream is so. <laughs> The dream is so elastic. It can stretch yeah. from there to there and there. It's like six, seven deep. So what am I supposed to do? I just so fall and just be like, whatever happens, happens. You, happen. you <laughs> fall. If you, you fell for it, Honestly, get up Honestly, someone told me, yeah, just keep falling and keep getting up. Yeah, You're going to be the strongest bitch cool. after the, the, the next 10 niggas sell you dreams. <laughs> I'm telling you. You're going to be so strong. You can build a house on your own. You fell, get up. I'm just like, I don't want to sell dreams. I just want you to be for real. You want to pay bills? You do. <laughs> I don't want to pay bills. But if I there's do. a guy out there not selling dreams, dreams, but I do. <laughs> like, I mean, like, just hit like, me up. Like, Slide in my DMs if you're not selling dreams. <laughs> what am I Basically, he's it's, saying okay. you're gonna get sold a dream here and there. But like, don't let it, don't let it break you. Don't, don't let, let it discourage it you. you from, don't let it yeah. from keeping from like from keep going and trying. Don't to let find, it judge. Like, but if it feels purpose. like a dream, if, if if it's too good to be true, it probably is, huh? No. No. I, mm, if it feels like all right, I will okay, say, we'll talk about okay, it. Okay, I agree with that. I do agree with that. But I mean, if you keep that if mindset, then you're never true. gonna have what you feel like you deserve. Because if 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 you have that mindset, and it's like so, so you're getting. <laughs> I, I needed know, this. I'm real light skin. Because 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 like the I'm moment you feel like the moment you feel like right you're getting now. something Jeez. that you deserve, you're gonna ultimately. Like, uh, like run like, away think, from like, it. Yeah, so like don't just don't have that mindset. If in the end it doesn't work out and you get sold a dream, that's what happened. And you get up and you move on from it. To the next dream. I'm just gonna stay asleep. I'm sleep. The dream gets better better. The dream <laughs> The dream gets better. Well, our next segment. We got a lot of segments, y'all. This is called the hit. Okay? Mm-hmm. You know, it's a lot of Drug induced themes, you know, the attic, the hit, you know, <laughs> and because it's you urban OD'd. overdose, you OD'd. So, with the hit, we talk about the hot track that's out right now. We pull it apart and we dish dirt about it. Not necessarily dirt because it's a hot ass track. It's just Kanye West, like three tracks all at once. Ty Dolla. Yeah, featuring Ty Dolla and featuring Kendrick Lamar. <clears throat> and we got Facts, Real Friends, No More Parties in LA. So how do you feel about the new um, Kanye? The Spencer? new Kanye, the old Kanye came back. 
I, uh, slash new. Have you heard the tracks yet? Yeah, I have. Okay. Um, I, first, I want to say No More Parties in LA. I, I cannot wait for the full version of mm. that right. song. I hear it for the video. Yeah, I, I just like, I need that. Why don't you write life. them a treatment? And send I it should, over. right? You should do it. Nah, do I need it. that ASAP. I need that ASAP. <clears throat> um, I, I enjoy it. I've always been a huge Kanye fan. Like um, a re- a really big Kanye fan, and I can't and I can't say that like the most like recent Kanye has been my favorite. Like the Jesus Kanye wasn't my favorite Kanye, um, but I still enjoyed it. Maybe still appreciated mm-hmm. it. Yeah, and I feel like now where he's at, um, at least from from the from these three tracks, is um, kind of getting like not 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 going back to old Kanye or being new Kanye. It's more so. Trying Taking to be off that yeah, connection, yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to be like full circle. It's trying to be it's all definitely of that. full circle, Kanye. Yeah, and I enjoyed that. I mean, it could have been children that did that to him. Um, you know, but I I enjoy it. I'm I'm just excited. I'm anxious to hear um, more. I'm excited. Wish, yeah. What is it? January or Fe- what? What date is coming out? February sixteenth. Where's Frank Ocean? Chill. <laughs>